Hey guys, welcome to an Overwatch video. Today we're going to be opening some packs and we're going to be playing some exciting games. So let's get started. So real quickly, let's open 10 packs of the new expansion, which I'll show you right now. All right, let's go ahead and open these 10 card packs. Let's see what we get. Nothing too good. That's fine. Again, honestly, most of these cards, even if they're not amazing, I just need these cards just so I can build a deck with them, you know? Like, they might not be good, but they might be a piece of a deck. So that's fine. Honestly, anything I get is good here. Like, Jade Spirits are fine. I know a guy's fine. All these go are essential to some deck, even if them themselves are an amazing card. Like, Jade Blossom. Jade Blossom is essential in Jade Golem Druid. Call of the Finishers, that's an essential for Murloc decks. Any type of Murloc decks, that's almost essential. Um, Jade Swarmer is almost a for sure in Jade Golem Rogue decks. I don't even know what any of those do. Um, yeah, I don't think any of those are amazing either. Alright, last pack, guys. No legendaries yet, but that's fine. I'll take an ally armor smith that okay so yeah we didn't get anything too exciting but it's fine what I did do though and what we're gonna be playing with today is one of the new jade golem druid decks because I didn't realize but I actually did get a good amount of the cards so I have almost everything I have both jade behemoths I have both uh, lotus agents lotus spirit lotus blossom J uh, idol so yeah, we're going to be playing with a Lotus Golem Druid deck today, which is very exciting. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started with a game. All right, a mage. Cool. You asked for it. I must protect. I did ask so for wild. it. All right, so. Hmm. Honestly, I think I want to keep all those cards. With the Innervate and Wild Growth, I'll be able to pull these out very quickly, and that's going to give me a lot of momentum. So honestly, I'll keep all the cards. The legions I command. Literally, on turn two, I can technically take this out, which is crazy. But I mean, turn two, we're going to play this. So. Alright. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that. And then next turn, I can actually take this out. And I'll be able to do lots and lots of damage already, right from the get-go. All right, come on, guy. It's turn two, mage. I don't think you have too much of a problem deciding what to do. taunt and the next turn it's a good thing we we got this card because next turn we're, we're doing this card and then the turn after that this one and the turn after that this one so we've got a good little tempo going here speak to me got some nice tempo You know what? I could probably rush him down and kill him, but I'll kind of want to play slow. So I'm going to see if I can just take this very slowly. You know, I might have to actually rush him down. Because with the Jade deck, I really want to try to build the Jade Golems high, but I don't even know if I have enough time to. We might just have to rush him down. Alright, transform that into a sheep. Go ahead, that's good. Yeah, this was just kind of unfair. I, I, I have minions that are way too strong, way too early game. And this card, shuffle three of these in your deck. 
I did that like until I had like 50 cards once, but I just ended up dying because I was too slow. So, yeah. What to do? What to do? All right, fireball it. That's fine. Yeah, it's just kind of like the lamest victory in the world. We just kind of rushed him down. Oh, that was just kind of lame overall. That's GG for this game. Got a little sad I didn't get to make a giant Jane Golem, but that's fine. Alright, we're facing up Paladin. I will fight with honor. I must protect the wild. So I'm, I'm keeping the Jade Spirit just so we can get some early game golems. And that's a very good card. And then Wrath to have some removal early game. And the Ragnaros is just all right. Cool, I got a Ragnaros. So the legions I command. Now the Panamaran. All right, that's fine, I guess. So I guess we'll do that to gain some mana crystals early on. It's practically like Hollow of the Wild or what Hollow of the Wild is built as well. Alright, cool. Traded. It's fine, I guess. I guess we'll play that and get a golem going. Oh, that's a lot of buffs. Honestly, his, his hand is so small, though, it doesn't really help him all that much. I'll just keep that in my hand for control. In case I need to just get rid of something. Now, these two cards are buffed. That's a pretty big one, actually. But that's kind of exactly why I kept these two. I guess I'll just do both of them right to the face and then we'll get rid of that one. I guess we'll just do that. I really want that Jade Idol card though. I want to start cycling some Jade Golems. Okay, that's a good card. Let's see what he gets out of it. Because <sighs> soon we're going to be playing Ragnaros and Ancient of War, so he better prepare himself. And that card's actually about to get Wrathed, most likely. If I don't get a 6 drop, it's getting Wrathed. Oh, thanks for the cards, man. I appreciate it. Except those are kind of terrible cards, that's fine. Alright, yeah, so we'll just do that then. And we'll get some golems going here. And see, I'm tempted to put shuffle three of these in my deck, but at the same time, I could just get a four four now. And I'm probably gonna kill them very right like soon, so I might as well just get the golem now. I'm not gonna even have time to make a giant golem. I like his whole style of trying to buff stuff in his hand, but honestly, uh, at, at the recent expansion, Paladin has now become, I think, the worst class. Oh. So, that's not helping him much, to be honest. It really isn't helping him much. 
I just put out this card? Imagine if I get like double jade idols and I just keep going and going and going. That'd be a lot of fun. Reporting for duty. All right, we'll take care of those easy. All right, so he has one thing in his deck. That's fine. This will take care of. I really need him to stop. I right, you know. What? I guess we'll just. Hmm. Hmm. What do we do? I guess we'll just apply pressure. It's probably the best thing to do in this case. Probably is just apply pressure. I really want. Again, I want to get big jade golems, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. He's gonna kill me, or I kill him before I can do that. I'm already going to have like a 5-5 five, five, and 4-4 four, four golem here, so. He's got to pray here for some uh, charge murloc. Or he can do that. That's actually kind of crazy. But he's going to have to practically all in trade here, so. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. Still buffing that one card, that's fine. Alright, so let's we'll play that. We'll play a 5-5 golem and then we'll go ahead and pick that up. That's fine. See, I already got a 9-9 on the board just from a couple cards, so that's fine. Jade golems are too OP right now, man. They're really not, they're not that OP. Actually, it's kind of improving that they're not even that good. Most people, like big professionals, don't play Jade Golem decks much. Because it's not that good. really isn't. I mean, it's good, but it's surprisingly not as good as you would think it'd be. Which is kind of funny. Reporting for duty. That's fine. That's kind of a little late to get here, but okay. Oh, so let's just get another Jade Golem going then. How about that? Now let's see what card we get. Okay, that's a cool card. And then uh, I think we'll just go ahead and take care of some of these small cards. And I know I could probably kill him literally next turn by rushing him down, but I want to see how big I can make these Jade Golems. See if I can get any more of them. Honestly, I don't think his hand he'll be able to do much with it. Anyway, so. And plus, look at my hand. My hand stacked. Ragnaros, Iron Bark Protector, Door to the Claw. My hand stacked. Now, even if he wipes the board, I still got lots of fire coming his way. So that's fine. Don't forget to tip your tauren. That's fine. Uh, that'll just get me more card draw to get more golems or just another card in general. It's completely fine. Um, what are we gonna do here? Let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, I'll take that. Where shall I Let's go ahead and take take a charge. So we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. We'll just kind of clear the board. So I do want to get more of these going. A 7-7 seven, seven Jade Golem. That's insane. That's a one mana 7-7. Seven, seven. That's fine. He just got rid of my entire thing, but it's not going to... Oh, he's going to draw four cards. That's that's pretty good. It's fine, though. What he doesn't know is that I have Ragnaros, Sylvanas, and Iron Bard Protector. So, that's kind of like, all right, you can take this victory, I guess. Oh, no, I'm scared. All right, you can take that. Take that. Honestly, I'm just messing with the, with the person at this point. Ooh, that's a cooler looking Jade Dome. Honestly, I'm just messing him with him at this point. Like, this guy hat, his deck is, like, cool, but
but it's not very practical. He All the buffing that he's doing is buffing at a small amount. So, like, half his cards end up not doing anything, but buffing, like, one minion. And by that point, isn't it better just to play a different minion than buff one minion 1-1? One, one? Like, I don't know. At some point, it literally just isn't good. Overall, from this new expansion, Paladin had the least amount. It's just kind of sad. It's going to be funny if my Ragnaros hits face when I don't even mean to. That's going to be hilarious. It might end up doing that just because I might clear his board. But I don't think I have anything to clear his board, so. Accidents. They happen, you know? Alright, just keep doing damage to the face, my dude. That's that's pretty that's pretty beefed up. Um, so let's go ahead and play this. Let's see what we can get. I'll take that an eight eight. Cool. Now let's see if Ragnos hits face. Uh, oh, that's actually the best target. I mean, other than killing him. But honestly, I don't think that's even the best target because I want to keep messing with him. The best target was that minion, which is kind of cool. Alright, so he's going to heal up a bit. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just kind of messing with this point. It's kind of sad. But I'm, I want to drag out this game for fun. A lot of games are not fun if you just completely demolish them. So let's have some fun. He's trying all he can just to get rid of him. It's kind of funny. I have no time for games. For the wild. And he better. I mean, honestly, I probably should have just summoned the 8 8, but he better find something to get rid of this Ragnarok, so it's going to kill him next turn. So he better find something. And again, guys, I, it's not that I'm bad and I'm missing lethal. It's I literally don't want to win right now. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Ragnaros v Ragnaros. That's kind of neat. You know, I'm even probably going to let that live. I want him to live, actually. I want that to live. Honestly, actually, I want to straight up let that live. Never mind, it's gone. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Oh wow, it's so good. Ah, oh, that feels terrible. I'm gonna just wipe him so bad. Oh, I was, I was gonna even gonna wipe him. Darn it. All right, well that was a fun game. We messed with him quite a bit. Alright, let's play one more game. And again, I think I'm going to have to start just playing aggro Jade Golem. Like right there, again, the only reason I didn't kill him early was because I wanted to try to get bigger Jade Golems just so I could see bigger Jade Golems. But in the end, I kill him too quickly to get some bi big Jade Golems. So we might just have to play aggro Jade Golem from here on out. Versus Anduin. Alright, let's see what we can get here. That's a... Both of these are very good cards. Another amazing card. Yeah, I'll keep all those actually. Thank you. Ragnaros. I always seem to get Ragnaros in the starting hand, which is kind of annoying, kind of good, I guess. The legions I command. That's fine though. Uh so yeah, let's just pass. Alright, so I'm getting a lot of Jade Golems early in my deck, so that's pretty nice. Is someone injured? That's good. Uh no, someone's not injured. But, you know what I'm going to do? Ooh. Yeah. I'll do that. And the next turn, we'll... We'll, with the coin, we'll have five mana. And then we'll Jade Blossom and we'll Wrath. And then we'll be OP. Because we'll get Ragnaros, like, turn four for him or something. That's really good. We've got a really good opening here. We're already at 
six mana while he, he's gonna be at five i guess we're not too far up ahead technically but we're still we have a really decent lead on him we'll get ragnaros out before he can get anything gigantic out which is nice Ooh. All right. It's a little spooky. Hello? Oh, wow. All right, cool. Let's play some big taunts. Ooh, this card. Wow. Hmm. Uh, I can't even speak. 10 mana, Aviana, Ragnaros, 2 OP. That's fine, my dude. Go ahead, gain some more health. That's fine. It's okay. I'm not worried about it, because I've got Aviana, Ragnaros. Oh, and that's just perfect. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, just demolish your life right here. Go ahead and do that. I'm okay with this. Yeah. And I might even play it next turn. It might not even have to be a combo. I might just play it for the pressure of, oh no, I need to get rid of that, like, now. And then he'll use all his removal to get rid of it, and then I'll be able to play Ragnaros anyway next turn. Unless I just want to play Ragnaros next turn if he plays something big. Nah, it's not going to do anything. Alright, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's just pull this boy out. And then get rid of that. Because I don't want him getting rid of this and then attacking it by getting rid of it. So I still want some taunt up. Especially now, even if he has like a 5 attack charge or something, it won't directly hit this. And now, uh, next turn it's over, pretty much. Ooh, Chromagus. That's a card. Wow. That's fine, though. Ragnaros. Play that. You know what I am going to do, though? I'm, I'm going to get rid of it, though. I'm not going to take that lightly. That thing needs to go away so he doesn't make some giant draws. But my board is kind of stacked here. He doesn't have a chance of living. I'm sorry. Whatever whatever minion I get, I'm going to put out at this point. I have some giant damage dealing to either kill you or get rid of any minion you play down. I've got a taunt up to protect me from anything. And I've got a random 4-4 that can take care of small minions just like the Azura Drake. Easy. Twilight Drake, alright. Cool, cool. Oh, wow, let's look at that. Oh, just a one mana. Can attack, that's fine. And then he might die right here from Ragnaros. It depends what it hits. Yeah. Alright guys, so that was fun. That was fun. So that was three games. I think we might end up here. What is my... You guys know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly finish this, and we're going to open one more pack off, or we're going to open one more pack this episode. I'm going to do this off camera real quickly. I'm going to, I'm going to get that so we can open a pack. Okay, guys. So real quickly, let me delete the deck that I just used just to get that challenge real quick. Let's go open a card pack. So guys, yeah, I had a lot of fun today. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching if you did. Make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and... Okay, you know what? That's fine. Goodbye.